Okay, here we go then. Today we're taking a look at the Apple TV 4K third generation. This video will be good for all Apple TV streaming devices, okay? What we're going to do is show you what settings you should turn off while you're using an Apple TV box. This is mainly to protect your information, your data, your location, and just make the device run a little bit better and stop all those annoying features which can pop up, start playing, make noise, everything, and making sure all your personal information, your cookies, all that are safe. And this is a must do. Okay, this is the first of a new series of Apple TV devices. For anyone who doesn't know me, I am Doc Swiffy. We do streaming videos for all your devices, whether it's Fire Sticks, now Apple TV, Roku, plus your apps and everything like that. And we will be bringing many more videos about the Apple TV, about setup guides, adding applications, um, seeing what we can put on there, even adding a VPN to the device, which is quite rare on the Apple TV devices. So, first things we're going to do is go and have a look in our settings and turn off the ones which we should shut off straight away. So obviously your settings is quite obvious on an Apple TV device. You click on it, and we've got it all here, okay? So you have quite a few things from general, user accounts, accessibility, system, and then you have a sleep at the bottom. I'm going to slow it down a little bit now, and we're going to start in general, because there's one place we need to go straight away, and you all should be going there now. So we go to general. And what we're going to do, we're going to go down to privacy. Privacy is important for all of us when we're streaming, when we're using the internet. Um, and it's important that we make sure we have the settings correct. So we're going to click on privacy. And instantly, we're on a TV device. And they've got location services on. It's not like you're on your mobile phone or anything like that where you're moving around. Well, location services can be useful if you're looking for restaurants or if you're looking for... If you lost your device even, it can be found. Location services do not need to be turned on for a TV device, okay? So for me, personally, that is turned straight off. Um, I don't use Siri on mine. It's up to you guys if you use Siri on yours, but I'm not too fussed about Siri on a TV device. Tracking. It's in the word, isn't it? Tracking. Allow apps to ask to track. Uh, no. Turn that off. We don't want anything on regarding tracking. It says down here, allow apps to ask to track your activity across other companies, apps, and websites. Who would want that turned on? Okay, the next one I'm going to move on to is a bit further down. So here it's got Share Apple TV Analytics. Let's click on that one. Help Apple improve its products and services by automatically sending analytics data. Analytics data may include your location information. So this would be location information and possibly what apps you are using. I changed that to Don't Send straight away. Analytics data, here again. Um, we can ignore that, we've turned it off now. Obviously these abouts are there if you want to read about what it actually does. Um, it's quite interesting really, but only if you're fussed, but it's easier just to turn it off and then not have to worry about it in my mind. That's our privacy pretty much done. Right, now we can go through a few others, okay? So let's have a little look in um, screensaver. Personally for me, when it comes to screensavers, I like to turn them off. Um, I just hate them coming on because they use up the resource of the device and when you suddenly want to put it on, it takes a little bit of time to come off of it. So, you've got a few options. The best way to do it here is start after um, and you can change it to never, okay? Again, that's a more of a personal preference, that one. Like, you don't want it coming on during music and podcasts. It's just going to use up your um, resources. These devices don't have a lot of power to them. Okay, appearance, yeah, preference on that one. Sleep after 15 minutes. Again, this is more of a personal preference. I think 15 is too short. Um, I don't always want mine going off. So I'll leave you at about 30, but you can turn that to never as well if you want to. Restrictions, um, I've got mine off, okay? This is a bit more like parental lock. So it's not a specific one, but if you have children in, it can be for worth turning on. But again, for me, I just leave it to off. Privacy is we've done. Legal on that is just so you can have a little look through. It will, You can have a read. Next one, we're going to scroll a bit further down. And there's one called Background App Refresh. Personally, I turn this one off. But you might like it, but it allows apps that aren't in use to check for updates and new content. But the problem is, the last thing you want is an app updating in the background when you are watching something. Because it's going to, again, use up those resources, which can slow down your device. If you ever change any of these and you find something's not working, you can always change it back. If you're missing a setting that maybe you normally use, there's no harm just popping back and changing it back. 
Uh, date and time is all okay. Okay, so that's the general stuff done. Users and accounts, we're not going to throw too much on. Um, that's just my information. So video and audio. Obviously, you've got your format. You can set that to your actual TV device. The next one I'm going to turn off under video and audio is my pet hate on all devices I've used across the days, and that is navigation clicks. There's nothing worse. You won't be able to hear it. Let me see if I can turn it on for you. You hear it clicking as I click now? I have it turned off on recording, but navigation clicks is so annoying that can go off for me personally. Automatic subtitles, again, for me it's off, but that's a, more of a preference. Okay, that's not too bad there. Uh, notifications, again, we don't need notifications on a TV. It's not a mobile phone. Remotes and devices, fairly straightforward stuff. We don't need to worry too much on there, personally. Accessibility. Again, you can have a look in um, display, and you can turn a few bits on if you prefer them. This is more for your, um, if you're hard of seeing, visual impaired, things like that. Next up, we're going to look at motion. One thing I don't like, personally, is autoplay video previews. But again, this is a personal preference. Not like this first stuff, which was privacy. This is a personal preference, so I like to turn that off. Okay, so we've done that one. We've got apps, network, system, and sleep now. There's nothing really in the rest. Um, we can have a look in system. Here you can get your updates, and it's very worth keeping your device up to date. Um, automatically update. Again, sometimes I turn this off if my device is running slow, because the last thing you want is it popping up when you're doing anything. Um, reset is a reset, and restart's a restart. So you can use that restart if your device is ever not working. There won't be much in your network that is just your internet connection but those few settings we've just done there are all very important for you to turn off mainly the first ones which are your privacy and that's what i really worry about is your guys and your privacy next up though which is a really interesting fact if you are worried about your data and your privacy on a apple tv now you can now get ip vanish this is one of the first premium vpns to be available on apple tv um, this allows you to have all your privacy that you'd normally have stop your isp blocking you throttling your speeds, gives you some firewalls, privacy risks. It can block all of that stuff for you, okay? Zero logs, and everyone know, heard of VPNs and you can access content via geolocation, but all the big VPNs, the premium ones, aren't on Apple TV. They're all a few unheard of ones until now when IP Vanish is now on there as well. We are partnered with them, so that is linked underneath and they do partner this video. So if you are interested in a VPN for your Apple TV, we will be doing a video soon on how to install one and how to set one up. But until then, I've been Doc Squiffy. I hope you enjoyed that video. Apple TV devices are quite new to me and we're working our way through them. But always we start with that settings video and next up we'll see what fun we can get on there and we'll get them set up nicely. Brilliant. I've been Doc Squiffy. Thank you for watching and I'll see you soon.